Okay, this is on the Thomas job, number 53241, installed on 10-4 by Stetson. So what we are doing is we are just replacing this furnace with a 90% furnace. We are leaving the coil. Um, our new furnace will actually move over and up six inches. So I drew the corner, front corner of the furnace. It'll be uh, nine inches from the sheetrock. And uh, forward six inches. And so the top will just go straight up into, you know, the uh, side of the duct. Um, okay, so new furnace will sit on a base, got the furnace, then a, a transition, and then the coil, a canvas and a starting collar. Um, you will be able to bend this um, line set, I believe, to accommodate what you need. Um, Okay, so you'll have a, a filter box and your drop duct just as it shows, cut line right there. I have a cut line right here and to the edge, so you have to bend this one straight up, leave all the others flat. Um, this side, this one, the supply air, I just left it as slips so you can just bend up the uh, front and the back. Um, let me know if that works better than one inch out on this case, but. Okay, um, so we are gonna add a return air in the stairwell, just right here, high, as high as you can. Um, you will have to remove the combustion air, um, shorten it as needed. We will remove this sheet rock just right here, and then we'll pan up the wall. And we'll take a, a 36 by 6 tall duct and tap it onto the back of the return air and run wrap around behind the furnace. And um, just cut in our uh, grill as you can. And we're taking it not for return air in the basement, just for return air up high. So then get more return air as per scope. Okay, so um, combustion air. It's okay, just shorten as needed on the flue. Um, we're gonna remove this bottom T, reuse this cap and put it here. Um, our new starting color will be coming up here, um, but you're gonna run this water heater flue in four inch aluminum. So um, you have to come forward you know, enough to get past this. And so I would use this Bvent 90 and this draft hood to, to come forward with it and then um, convert to aluminum, just so, you know, cause you're gonna be closer to the wood. So you wanna use the Bvent so you have a one inch clearance. So reuse this flu as needed for the water heater beginning. Okay. Um, so our furnace flues, um, Dwight has just go through the storage room. And then he has, instead of just going out here, he has turning and going to the back. So I looked up into the back last joy space and it looks clear other than all the wires. Um, so that's probably the one you need to use. Last one, go to a flat termination.
Um, so two inch PVC on that. The drain just to the floor. Gonna standard order. And um, let's see. And the gas, you're just going to put a drip leg on it and uh, flex into our normal. That's about it. Thanks.